Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cross Border Interviews. I'm your host, Christopher Brown, and this is it. This is it for 2022. Uh, episode 495 is our last episode of 2022. Now, when I set out back in 2019 to start this show, I couldn't have imagined in this short period of time we would have had over 490 episodes, but here we are. Here we are after so long putting out great content, putting out great interviews. We're still doing it. I have spoken to so many great people over the last 365 days, starting out with the former member of parliament for Northumberland, Peterborough South, Kim Rudd, to our very last episode with a guest which was the Member of Parliament for Calgary Federation, Forest Lawn, Jazz Raz Holland. Here we are. We have crossed the political spectrum. We have crossed the political divide. We have talked to people who we got hate mail about, and we've talked to people who people adored. And the entire time, I haven't lost my way. I know I'm supposed to be talking about the show, but I want to talk about myself here for a second. We got hate this year, and I mean vitriol hate. Not in the sense that people were upset about us, but we got death threats. We got death threats to the point where we're not tuning in anymore because you have this person on. Uh, We know where you live. We know where you are. And the entire time, I didn't change who I was. Because that's not my role. My role is to talk. My role is to talk to people who have a story to tell. And that's what I did when I set out on this journey on episode one. Just talk to people. It's all part of my book. 2022 has been a fantastic year for talking. We sat down with the leader of the Green Party. We sat down with the leader of the Christian Heritage Party. We, we did interviews with all the candidates who were running For the Green Party of Canada's leadership race. Here we are. We sat down with candidates from the United Conservative Party leadership race. Not all, but the majority of them. And the entire time I thought to myself, this is why I do it. I don't do it because I I, I like the clicks and I like the Twitter followers. I do it because at the end of the day, I do it for myself. Yes, if I get one view or 20,000 views or one listen or 80,000 listens, I could care two shits. Because honestly, for those who know me, know that I've been going through some health issues. And this show this year has gotten me out of some very dark places. Some very dark places. And when I look at people worried about follower counts and listenership i i kind of envy them because if that's their biggest thing that they're worried about in their day to day life then i would love to have that we are so privileged on this show to be able to bring you content and bring you things that wouldn't be there After interviews, after I've said and done with interviews, I sit down and I chat with people and I ask them a few follow-up questions if they have time and say, how would you like the interview? Anything you want done? Happy to do that. Because at the end of the day, they're taking time out of their busy schedule to sit down with me. And I couldn't, couldn't let it pass that these people who have made 2022, these guests who have made 2022 a fantastic year for the show, go without knowing that they have done incredible things for myself. So I know I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart to the guests who are listening, the past guests, the former guests, the future guests who might be listening, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me because 2022 was a hell of a ride for me. And I could not have asked for a better uh, moment in time 
where I can look back and say 2022 is when I gave it my all. Now, that being said, we always look at the future, right? We always look to the future when you're doing a show like this. You never look to the past, you look to the future because the future is where everything is going to be. You can't change the past. You can only put out the past and you can only look towards the future. So I'm looking towards the future. 2023 is going to be a little bit different. So for those who have been following the show, you know that we've been doing some unique things on the show. We've been doing some live interviews. We've been doing some YouTube exclusives and we've been doing our bread and butter, which is the regular cross-border interviews with Chris Brown show. Well, in 2023, that's going to be The same, but it's going to change up a little bit. And I say that with respect because I always want to honor the past. But I also know that we have to move forward. So I'm moving forward in 2023 with a little bit of a different wind to my sails. So in October of this year, we sat down with 25 amazing guests from across Canada. We sat down with 25 municipal leaders to talk to them about their communities, their desire to serve, and, well, their issues that are facing their communities. October was our most successful month to date on the show. In May of 2020, we sat down with five municipal leaders, and we did incredibly well. In 2022, we sat down in October... And we did fantastic. Like, I couldn't believe the numbers that were coming in. So, in 2023, and this is my pledge, and this is kind of my New Year's resolution for the show, but it's kind of my pledge to the show. We're going to come back for five episodes. We're going to round out 500 episodes doing the original format of the show, which is sit down with any guest and chat with them. Then we're going to be taking a three-week hiatus. And I say that with respect because I know that new people tune in on a regular basis. And I know people from across the world tune in on a regular basis to hear from some of my guests. So episode 496 to 500 are going to be in the similar format. And then on February 1st or February 4th or whatever the first Monday in February is. We are going in a different view. We're getting rid of the uh, idea that we're going to invite all these politicians on. And we're going, I mean, not politicians, but federal and provincial politicians to the regular show. And we're going the municipal route. In February, and for the remainder of the year, that's February 4th to December 2023, we are going the cross-border interviews with Chris Brown's municipal year. Yes, it's a big task. Yes, I think I can do it. There are over 444 elected officials in southern Alberta alone. I need over 200. (laughs) So, and that's not just saying that I'm only going to be doing Alberta. I'm doing every province. I'm doing countries. I'm going outside. I have people from Australia lined up. I have people from the states lined up. This is going to be a big year. I hope by the end of 2023, when I do a recap of 2023, I can say we have had over 200 guests on the show who were municipally elected in their local governments from across Canada and around the world. Now, that is a huge, huge task, and I believe I'm up for it. We did 25 episodes and people wanted to come on we've already got three weeks of shows lined up already in february and it's only december so it tells you that municipal councillors want to talk we're just going to give them the platform to do it and we're going to give them the platform to talk about their issues their communities their tours des- destinations but also and i love the question that i start off all these interviews with is the duty to serve why become a local councillor So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to giving back to local elected leaders. And I couldn't have asked for a better venue to do it because people seem to be coming to us. People seem to be wanting to listen to municipal leaders talk. So 
I'm going to bring on more municipal councilors because they bring in the numbers. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be petty there. It's just, it's the truth. So look forward in February. So like I said, we're taking a three-week hiatus in January to record up a lot of interviews because my plan is not to take a break. You know how we have done in the past three weeks of shows, week off, three weeks of show, week off. My plan <laughs> is to go Monday to Friday every day until December. Even saying that's kind of scary, not going to lie. I'm kind of nervous about this whole uh, experience. But as long as I'm six feet above ground, as long as I have a voice in me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to continue talking and I'm going to continue telling the stories that need to be told. I have been accused in the last few weeks of ripping off other shows. Oh, you're bringing on the same people. You're bringing on the same people as the show. I could care two shits. I'm inviting the people I want to invite. If you want to be on the show, send me a message. If you are a municipal leader in 2023, send me a message. If you follow me on any of the social medias, get ready for an invite to the show in 2023. So I, I, I look forward to seeing what 2023 has in store for the crossword interviews with Chris Brown's municipal year minus a month. But I really, truly do look forward to seeing what the show is going to be in December of 2023. Retrospectively, am I going to look back and think this was a complete waste of time? I don't think so. Am I going to retrospectively look back and say, dear God, I bit off more than I could chew? Probably. But I'm excited. <coughs> I'm excited for it. So, what else is going to happen in 2023? Now, there's been a lot of chatter on social media, and I'm a big proponent of anti-social media. I do not like it. You have to do it to promote the show, but I'm done. In 2023, we're moving to one platform, and I know it's probably not the best platform, and there's probably a lot of issues with it, but it's the platform that I believe that is the best I can moderate people, and that's Facebook and Instagram, so the metaverse, as they would call it. As of January 1st, I'm closing up the cross-board interviews with Chris Brown's Mastodon, Post, Social, Twitter, all the rigmaroles, and I'm moving to the metaverse. I'm going Facebook and Instagram, and that's it for 2023. Now, Twitter has been a great place for connection, so... This is going to be a weird runaround here. While Twitter's on the decline and people are leaving it for other platforms like Mastodon, Social, Post, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to keep it open, but I'm not posting. I'm going to be connecting with people on Twitter because people are still using it, sending out uh, invites, requesting uh, interviews, but I'm not engaging. I'm not posting new episodes that will all be via Twitter or via face Facebook and via Instagram. Now this could be a double edged sword. This could hurt the show or hinder the show, but I could care two shits. I preach all the time that we need to get off social media and it's time for me to follow what I'm talking about and put my foot where my mouth is. Now, I, I know this could be a little of a bit, bit of a hiccup because we are slowly starting to get a following on social on Twitter, but I see the hate. We get more bots that follow us recently than anything. And I just don't have time for it. There's, there's people that I know who their whole identity is Twitter, their whole identity is that blue check mark or that idea that they are um, 
better than they actually are because of their follower count or their their status as a Twitter person. Well, I could care two shits. <laughs> to be honest, we all put on our pants the exact same way. We all eat the exact same way. Well, we don't all put on our pants the exact same way. <sighs> we all bleed red. We're not... No one's different in the algorithm game. If you think you are, give your head a shake, go away, and come back later. Because I am completely aware that the average human being does not care how many Twitter followers you have. The average human being does not care what you post on social media. The average human being believes in one thing, and I, and I, I am not trying to speak overarchingly for this, but the average human being believes that if you're a good person, you will, good things will happen to you. Well, let's get to that point. Let's stop worrying about what Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok says. And let's start worrying about doing good things. At the beginning of 2022, we started giving back a little bit. We raised over $600 for different organizations here in Canada, for in Calgary, for our live shows. And then in June... We raised over $2,000, $2,000 for the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada. I want to do more in 2023. I have been approved to sit on some boards this year who are volunteerism and volunteer uh, to volunteer my time to give back to the community, to give back to some organizations that have helped me and my husband over the last few years. And I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm looking forward to expanding what I do in this world because I've learned over the last year that the social media world has become more of a me first and then everyone else. And I want to get away from that. As I say, I a lot and me a lot. But in 2023, the show is not going to be about I. It's going to be about us as a society. Elected leaders who are representing their community the best way that they know how. It's going to be about giving back. It's going to be about getting off social media, going to have a conversation with somebody, and actually sitting down and talking to people and not just randomly yelling into the void of the world. I believe, and I could say this as honestly as I possibly can, I believe there's a lot of people in this world who are suffering. And if I can be a venue for them to have some escape from reality for an hour, half hour, 45 minutes, then I'll try. I'm getting sidetracked here and I apologize, but I just want to say this. We are heading into a new year. New Year's about rebirth, regeneration, uh, new horizons, new uh, ideas. And that's what the show is going to be. So 2023 is going to be less Twitter, more conversations with great people, more conversations with local elected leaders, and just overall more of the same. Because you like it, I, why should I change up everything? So let's wrap it up. Because we're about 20 minutes in, and this is going to be a short episode. I do apologize. The other new thing that we're going to be talking about in 2023, it's not new. It's going to be a continuation of 2021, 2022, I should say, our live episodes. <laughs> so, so I say so a lot. I apologize. I'm going to learn. I'm going to be doing these a lot more with just me and you and talking and hopefully people will listen. 
In 2023, we're going to be doing some live episodes. Not for money, not to raise money for charity, which would be great, but we are going to be doing some episodes live, like we did in 2022, with provincial and federal MPs, MLAs, premiers, politicians from across the political spectrum, but we're only doing them live. Period. End of sentence. Check mark. I want to see them think on their feet. This isn't a lie. This, they, they do live interviews all the time on CBC, CTV, so why can't they do it live here? Now, if they can't, well, then we just move to the next person because all of our shows will be live from now on for any episode, any interview that is not municipally focused. The issue with that is they're only going to be YouTube exclusives. So if you're not following us on YouTube already, you better head over there because we have lots more content that we're going to be pumping out this year on YouTube alone. Our entertainment rundown with Michael Nichols Pate is going to be YouTube exclusive. Our interviews with federal and provincial counterparts are only going to be YouTube exclusives. Our live shows recapping by-elections are only going to be YouTube exclusive. They are no longer going in the feed. The The, the original show, the cross-board interviews with Chris Brown, will only be focused municipally. Could that hurt me in July when no one wants to talk to me? Yes, but here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to be banking a lot of episodes between now and July because... There's a lot of people out there, a lot of elected officials municipally, and I'm looking forward to sitting down with them and chatting. So, 20 minutes into this episode, and I think I have said my piece for 2023. <sighs> Told you I wasn't going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. So, to you. To the listeners, to the viewers, to the people who have made this show a possibility. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We we don't know who our friends are until you go through something as traumatic as cancer. To those who have reached out, to those who have extended an olive branch, to those who have asked to drive me, to those who have been able to take a moment out of their day-to-day lives and just sit with me for 10 minutes and hear me bitch and complain, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of everyone's heart in my household, my family. Um... You guys have been the best listeners, followers, however you want to put it, that I could have imagined. So, with that, second New Year's resolution is to not to say so, so much. With that, from the bottom of my heart to you, this Christmas time, this Hanukkah season, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. We will be back on January 9th with a week-long series of municipal politicians or provincial politicians who turned municipally or provincial. So they leveled up or they leveled down when they were talking about provincial or politics. And then we're going to be off for another three weeks. And then on February 4th, 2023, we will start the... Episode 501, I still can't believe I'm saying 501 because when I started the show, I thought I would only be at like episode 100 right now. Episode 501 with municipal leaders from February 4th to December 22nd, 2023. So with that, have yourself an excellent day. Have yourself an excellent rest of your Christmas break, your holiday break, your Hanukkah break. And remember... Get out from behind social media and go have a conversation with somebody. It helps our society. It helps our democracy. And yes, oh yes, it helps us as a people be better. 
So with that, this has been the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Brown for 2022. Have yourself a happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy New Year, and we'll be back in 2023.